When former liberal leader Michael Ignatieff's once vital mother disappeared into Alzheimer's disease, he wrote about it in an autobiographical novel called Scar Tissue. Ten years ago, playwright Dennis Foon created a CBC TV movie based on the prize-winning novel, and this month, Scar Tissue debuted at the Arts Club Theatre Review Stage. It is my pleasure to welcome Dennis Foon back to Studio 4 to tell us more. Hi. <laughs> so you're a little obsessed with this scar tissue. Yeah. Are you? I, I think yeah, I am a little. Uh, you know, when I first read the book, uh, it's a story of two brothers, and one is an, basically a, a philosopher kind of artist guy. Mm. And the other one is a scientist, a doctor, right? Mm. Well, my older brother is a doctor, and all we do is fight all the time about stuff. I'm really into alternative healing. He thinks it's bogus. Right. And we're constantly back and forth. And that's a, a big part of the book as well, because the two brothers are approaching the death or the uh, impending death through Alzheimer's of their mother. Sure. Right? And do you think one of the, well, it's a novel. Yes. So obviously Ignatius in it, but he'd be the scientist brother the other brother, or could you tell? Well, actually, I, I know. I, I actually interviewed his brother uh, years ago, okay. um, Andrew, uh, when I was first developing mm -hmm. it. And his brother uh, was the, actually the, the main caretaker. And so the, the novel was actually told through the point of view of his brother. And lots of family dynamics when somebody has dementia, of course. Yes. It's, it's uh, you know, it, it's devastating for everybody. And, and mm -hmm. in, in, in the story of scar tissue, we have David, who's had a very traumatic thing happen between him and his mother in his youth. And he's desperate to find out the answer to what the heck happened before he loses her, right? Right. And the first signs in most families, I don't know in all families, but in many families, the first signs, there's always a denier. There seems to be What's a gone? denier. Mother's fine, she's yeah. just old. Or dad's fine, he's just old. And then the other sibling says, not fine, losing it. Right. You know, he's, in, his, mm -hmm. in this case, he's got a, a doctor brother who has already d has has the whole prognosis and has already determined exactly how it's going to go come down. And David's in complete denial about it and can't. It just, it just terrifies him and angers him. Right. The thought that this would be happening to him. Mm -hmm. To lose somebody yeah. with a with a keen mind and a great mind and to watch them fade into Alzheimer's. Uh, she was an artist in real life. Yes. And, uh, and, and, and certainly in, in our story she is, uh, mm -hmm. was a very famous artist and had a lot of success and at a certain point stopped painting, ah. right? And the whole issue, every, the whole play hinges on that moment, why she decided to stop and the circumstances surrounding it. And at one point, didn't she want to paint all of her paintings gray, take away yeah. Yeah. all of the color and the vibrancy just to stop it, and the question was why? Why, mm. why did that happen? Why was that so important to her? She wasn't losing her mind at the time. She was at the peak of her form when right. she made that decision, so why? Why, and that's yeah. deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have anybody in your family who's dealt with Alzheimer's? Was it a personal thing? You know, last October, I, I went back to see a woman who was my primary caregiver as a child, and uh, she has dementia, and it was devastating to be around it and to see, you know, to the same question asked over and over and over mm -hmm. again. Her short-term memory was completely wasted. She had then suddenly went into stories of her childhood. She could remember childhood stories, right? But yeah, that was course. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fear and, and the anger, all of that, because at some level, I mean, we don't know because we haven't experienced it, but what it must yeah. feel like. I don't, you don't know if they feel joy at some level because it's easier or they feel intense pain or, or what goes on in the brain of somebody who has it. I know, it's, it's, uh, it, mm -hmm. it, 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 what's so crazy about it is what a mystery it is still to science. Uh -huh, right. And the descent into yeah. Alzheimer's and uh, right. how rapid it is or how slow it goes. And there's always the question, if it is in your family, as yeah. you know, uh, I, uh, it's hereditary, or not always, but yeah. it's in the genes. So the fear of you getting it, yes, and does it, and it stops sometimes people from making crucial decisions. Exactly, and I mean, should it, we have kids? Right. I don't know. We've got Alzheimer's in the family, or is it that serious? I think so. I think a lot of people mm -hmm. make those kinds of decisions to stop mm -hmm. to stop their lives. You know, yeah, like don't have kids fear. because I'm worried like, I'll, I'm I'll pass down them. the genes. Absolutely, and that's mm -hmm. certainly thematic in this play. Sure. Right. Well, how is it different for you making the movie? Uh, the right. TV movie and making the play. Well, when we first did the TV movie, we had a very small budget, and it was done in the studio with three cameras. And right. what it did was it, my original screenplay, which was very imagistic and had all kinds of a whole visual structure to it, 
had to kind of be thrown away because it, it um, you know, wasn't really possible to do that un under the circumstances. So about, uh, you know, many years later when I bumped into Bill Millard, who runs the Arts, the Arts Club, Club. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he said, write something for us. And I went, you know, I, this book's been nagging at me because I, we had this fantastic project. And it, I think it would be an amazing stage play because actors can turn on a dime and you can have these amazing performances where they mm -hmm. can go from, it can, they can follow the mind. They can go from childhood to adulthood like that. Yes, right. and so a much different experience. Yes. Uh, who's in it? Gabrielle Rose. Yeah, who's absolutely incredible. It's a, really a performance of a lifetime. To, to see her on the mm -hmm. stage is, for me as a, as a writer, uh, like a dream come true. Okay, and who else? Tom. Tom McBath is, okay. uh, plays the husband, and he's um, just doing an amazing job. And uh, Megan Leach is in it, uh, you know, uh, who plays the wife. And there's just a, a great, great cast. Sure. Yeah. Lots of discussion after? You know, a ton of discussion after. People mm. don't leave the theater at times and just keep talking. And because theater's so powerful, uh, as you know, <laughs> because you've been in it for so long. Uh, it, it always begs discussion. And some people say, I so don't want to see anything that has to do with Alzheimer's. Well, you know, people, the, what's great about the show mm -hmm. is that there are a lot of laughs in it, you know, for some reason. People yes. are finding it very, but it's, it's compelling. Unlike a lot of theater, which seems to take forever, you sit down and you feel like this one goes like that. It's, 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 it seems to be riveting for right. people. Uh, you're, you're absolutely engaged and entranced by the performances and by the story. Sure. You know, which is great. And what does it take for you to, to read the novel, reread the novel, reread the novel, and then turn it into a TV uh, movie or a play? Where do you start in the process? I start with my heart. I start with mm. what, what my personal connection is to it, what makes me, what, what grips me, what makes me want to tell the story, what, what I think, if I figure if it grips me, if I'm interested, I'm right. going to keep people in their seats and I'm going to keep them riveted too. Okay, and uh, opening night, first hockey game opening night, was it? <laughs> <laughs> we had a full house. You had a full house. A full Not everybody <laughs> loves hockey. Well, now you'll have a full house again. Yes. Mm -hmm. no. And the demise of the Vancouver Playhouse? Uh, you know, it's it's a tragic thing. I mean, mm -hmm. this this province gives less money to the arts per capita than any other province in the country. It's it's really a shame. I know. I yeah. totally agree with you. And uh, what's next for you after uh, this? Well, I'm doing a bunch of uh, feature projects, and mini series for CBC. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of different TV and film projects. So you're writing right some now. kids' books, writing. I've uh, got to get back to fiction. Okay, but I, I do have one, one of the these works. days because yeah. Little Criminals, great success. Yeah. Uh, Scud, The Long Light Legacy. Didn't you do a trilogy? Yes, my trilogy, yeah. Your trilogy, there, Long yeah, Light right, Legacy yeah. and all of that. And yeah. any thoughts of bringing back Green Thumb? Well, Green Thumb's going strong. It's been, you know, they've been doing just fine I mean, without you. me. No, for me. Uh, I'm still right for kids. You know, the last right. play I did was, uh, I, did, I did a play about Rick Hansen that was uh, at the Arts mm -hmm. Club stage last mm -hmm. year, you know, opened the Paralympics. And, sure. you know, I'm certainly I uh, love writing for children, and I'm going to continue doing it. Right. Well, this is East Coast Day, East Coast Day in Studio 4 because we had Mickey Drexler from the Bronx, yeah. you from Detroit. <laughs> Me, I'm a Montana kid. I don't know how I got into the mix. It's there you thing. go. Yeah, and the guy from mm -hmm. the state of Rosacea. Yeah, the state of Rosacea. Rosacea, Illinois, <laughs> perhaps. Who knows? Okay. Uh, uh, scar Tissue until Saturday, April 28th. Review stage, Vancouver, 8 o'clock. What time? Eight o'clock most nights. Eight o'clock most nights. There's matinees too, and that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Of course, and why not? Well, nice to see you Great again. To see you too. Thank you. Take care.